Perseverance launched atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket on July 30, 2020, sending the newest rover on a six-month, 120-million-mile journey to the Red Planet. Here today, we have United Launch Alliance Senior Manager of System Safety and Quality, Tanisha Ross, to discuss the details of that significant Atlas V rocket launch last summer. Well, let's hop right in. So I, my first question, ULA has a rich history of launching rovers to Mars in partnership with NASA. From the very first Mars Pathfinder program in 1997 to just last year, launching the largest and most technologically advanced rover, Perseverance. Tanisha, could you start off by telling us how exciting it is to work for ULA and explain some of the really cool things you do there. I had the uh, opportunity to work in the uh, rocket factory for 10 years after I received my engineering degree from um, Alabama A&M and then I moved to Denver. And so just growing up as a young girl in uh, outside the Birmingham area, I did have some uh, challenges, a um, bit of a rough childhood, and I never in my wildest dreams imagined I would be launching rockets. So just being in the factory, um, watching the production, the vehicle pass through different uh, phases of the production cycle, and then go through tests, and then finally being transported down for shipment to the launch site. It's just, it's amazing. It, it's a sight to see. And after 22 years, um, I still get, still get excited about that. So ULA has an impressive family of rocket vehicles. Could you tell us a little about the current fleet of rockets and why was the Atlas V rocket chosen to launch Perseverance? Sure. So we do have a fleet of uh, vehicles. We do have uh, various configurations of the uh, Atlas rocket. And then we do also have the Delta IV Heavy. But NASA chose the Atlas V rocket because of the lift capability as well as the requirements to meet its destination. So that's why they picked that vehicle. It's a high performance vehicle and it just worked out perfectly for that Perseverance mission. And a quick fun fact here is that of the um, 20 U.S. led uh, missions to Mars, United Launch Alliance has been a part of all 20 of those, wow. along with our heritage vehicles. So good fun fact to know about uh, United Launch Alliance and our um, relationship uh, with getting these uh, missions to Mars. ULA has facilities in both Decatur, Alabama and Denver, Colorado, where you are now. Could you tell us if any of the Atlas V rocket that launched Perseverance was any of it made in Sweet Home, Alabama? Yes, that uh, Atlas V that did launch Perseverance was uh, built in uh, Decatur, Alabama, our world-class rocket facility. Now, with these continued advancements in rocket technology, is ULA currently working on any exciting new rockets? And if so, could you tell us about them and their payload capabilities? Yes, we actually are. The new rocket is called Vulcan Centaur. And so what we're going to do with the Vulcan Centaur uh, rocket is going to be more powerful and offer greater affordability as we continue to deliver our unmatched reliability as well as precision. So we're all excited here about the um, Vulcan Centaur. Exciting times to be here at um, ULA and excited about the future. Now, for all the children watching this program today, what would be your best advice to pass along to them, the next generation of rocket scientists and engineers launching us into the future? Good question. Um, I would say my best advice would be to follow your dreams, um, follow your heart, um, also dream big. And I used to tell my son if people aren't laughing at you when you talk about your dreams, then you're not dreaming big enough. So dream big. Um, don't be afraid of challenges. There will be hard times along the way, but just be sure to ask your teachers as many questions as you would like. 
um, utilize your resources and just hang in there and keep going. And um, I remember speaking to a, um, I think it was about a class of fifth, fourth and fifth graders. And uh, one of the quotes I like to use is the one from Finding Nemo when he was getting down in the net and Dory just kept telling him to keep keep swimming. And so that movie is old, but that quote is um, powerful to me. So whenever things get tough, just remember to um, keep swimming. And before you know it, you'll get back to the top and hey, it is what it is. And um, challenges do arise, but just remember to uh, to always keep swimming. And I think you're a testament to that, dreaming big, and now you're living big as an engineer for ULA. Well, thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure. So thank you, Tanisha, for sharing your expertise and joining us today in celebration of Perseverance Rover landing on Mars. Thank you.